Yesterday, Friday, June 26, Vice President Mike Pence led a task force briefing, which is basically a State of the Union address explaining to the country how we are doing in terms of COVID-19. And he had some pretty interesting things to say. So today I want to break down some of the things he said and explain them to you so that you guys can understand what is actually going on with COVID-19 in the U.S. right now. He says that we are making remarkable progress and we are in a much better place. Uh, we have uh, made uh, truly remarkable progress. Is he serious? Are we on candid camera? I mean, we had 40,000 new cases in this country yesterday, and we've had 125,000 deaths. That is the worst track record for any country on the entire planet. From a doctor's perspective, progress would be a universal masking policy and much better testing than we are seeing in this country right now. And when I say much better testing, what I mean is number one, way more widespread tests, number two, much more accurate tests, and number three, much more rapid results. Right now, people are still waiting in line for three to four hours to get a COVID-19 test, and it's taking five to 10 days to get results back. That, my friends, is not progress. What we've done and what we are doing at the federal level to support the state efforts, particularly in the states where we see rising cases. So Pence goes on to say that he is ready to give the states all the support and help that they need in order to control this surge in COVID-19 that we are seeing. But I find that really interesting because just last week, the United States government cut funding to 13 testing sites, seven of which are in Texas, one of the states that is seeing a big spike in COVID-19 right now. All 50 states and territories across this country are, are opening up safely and responsibly. Pence goes on to say that we have opened up safely and responsibly. Right. So the two states that started opening up like less than a month after lockdown first started were Texas and Florida. They started by opening bars, opening restaurants, and that is the reason why we are seeing spikes like we are in Florida and Texas. Houston, which has the biggest medical center in the entire world, is currently at 100% ICU bed capacity right now, and our governor, Greg Abbott, refuses to mandate mask wearing. Again, from a doctor's perspective, safely and responsibly reopening would have included a universal masking policy and certainly not occupancy of restaurants and bars, which are clearly the reason why we are seeing a spike right now. Because of what the American people have done, because of the incredible work of our healthcare workers, because of a partnership with governors in every state, we did just that. We slowed the spread, we flattened the curve, we saved lives. Mr. Pence claims that we have slowed the spread and flattened the curve. I would totally disagree with that. Back in April, the United States was averaging about 30,000 cases per day of COVID-19, and we got that down to about 20,000 cases a day by May. But currently, we have peaked again at 40,000 cases a day. We continue to see a rise in COVID-19 cases. In Europe, we are seeing a decrease in the number of COVID-19 cases every single day. So much so that the European countries are blocking Americans from visiting there. So no, I don't think that we have slowed the spread. The volume of new cases coming in uh, is a reflection of a, of a great uh, success in expanding testing across the country. So Penn states that because we have more testing, we're generating more positive results. And it is true, obviously. The more tests we do, the more positive results we are going to get. But this is not an accurate way of tracking the virus. When we want to track our progress in handling and dealing with this virus, it's more important to look at percentages as trends. For example, in February and March, our percentages were going very, very high. We had a high percentage of positive cases. That went down as people started social distancing, as we started isolating, as businesses and restaurants closed. But as those things started to open, so too did the percentage of people testing positive for the virus. So as time goes on, we are seeing those percentages trending back up, meaning we are seeing a lot more people becoming infected with this virus. We also need to look at the rate of hospital admissions and ICU admissions, which is clearly on the rise currently. As I mentioned before, Houston, which has the biggest medical center in the entire world, has 100% ICU bed capacity. So what we are seeing as well is a trend upward in ICU bed utilization. 
this is all a problem. So in my opinion, Pence painted a pretty unrealistic picture of what the COVID-19 situation in this country looks like right now. Things are really not good. Our numbers are trending up, our ICU admissions are trending up, and the problem is that we are not looking to how we can resolve the situation. As I mentioned previously, from a doctor's perspective, the big things that we need to be doing are universally masking, and I think that that needs to become policy. We need to use all of the wonderful scientific minds in this country to make tests that are going to be more widely available, much more accurate, and give us more rapid results so that we can go about opening back up our country in a more safe and responsible way. So I hope that you guys found this entertaining, informational. I think it is really, really confusing all the things that the news outlets say, that the headlines say, that our vice president says. And so I really wanted to give you a scientific doctor's perspective on this and what is really going on with COVID-19 right now. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that. If you did, be sure that you give me a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed to this channel, please make sure you do so. And I will look forward to seeing you next time.